So, for the past week, I've been living in a hotel. Uh, because I have a job that sometimes allows for me to take work in other locations. And this week is such a week. And also, I guess I wanted to talk about all the things that are happening in my life. And specifically revolving around the fact that I will be moving very soon. Uh, I will be signing a lease in the next few days, and I will be moving to St. Louis, and that's really exciting. I've only done, I've only moved like a handful of times in my life. I know some people grow up in military families or whatever. Maybe your parents moved around a lot. Living with my parents, I have lived technically in three places, but the first place I was not even a year old when we moved away from it. Uh, and then my, you call it my childhood home, but that was only until I was about seven or eight. Um, and then I moved to the house that my parents still currently live in. And so after that, I moved, moved to college. That was a big one. But also knowing that like my home base was still at home, it wasn't really a real move in, in the grand scheme of things. But then after college, I bummed around home for a few months. And then I finally moved in with a college roommate in Springfield, Illinois, which I am moving away from. And so this is, this is weird. This is definitely, it's a new experience moving around. And I plan on doing this relatively often uh, as I chase opportunity, as I chase better pay, um, as I chase, I guess, happiness to a degree, I don't want to remain stagnant. I don't want to remain in the same places. I want to find different ways of just keeping my life exciting and moving more exciting places. Um, so obviously Springfield's only so large and there's only so much opportunity. And I didn't really know a ton of people there. I definitely tried to get to know some people and I made a few friends a few acquaintances, but nobody that I'm terribly close with. And now I'm moving into a place where I know a lot more people around the area. I know a lot of people who I knew from college, uh, mainly, primarily from college, but I'm also meeting other people and I'm trying to get other things off the ground. Um, I find it very hard to be motivated to be, uh, to do things just in general. And I've had to identify the reasons why. And then also um, putting myself in positions where I can remain productive and motivated. And obviously that needs to come from a bunch of different places. Uh, but one of the places that it comes from is being in community with people. And so I think that's honestly the biggest opportunity that is arising and is already showing itself in moving to St. Louis is I know there are going to be people all around me. And so the possibilities of collaboration and and being creative and having access to a whole new set a whole new skill set that is not my own um, to to I guess experiment with. Not that I experiment <laughs> with people necessarily, uh, but you know, say for example, I find someone who is a much better audio engineer than I am, and um, well, if I don't have to worry about that, the audio engineering side of a recording, then I can focus on making a 
great just just focus on making the music and, and writing the music uh, and then also it's nice to have people around because maybe there is a musical idea or a production idea that I was previously unaware of and that I wouldn't have thought of my own and now that I'm I have all these people uh, around me who are willing and, and excited to collaborate then I can do something with that and and we can build each other up and lift each other up um i i've always i feel like i've always known this about me that i needed to be in community with people and i needed to talk to people and and work with people and that's how i would be most productive but it's become achingly clear that that's the case uh, ever since we started doing the all the break room stuff right so it's it's really easy to remain motivated when you're doing things with friends and you're doing productive things with friends uh, and then when they're also passionate about the same things um, that's really exciting and and my life feels like it's moving and that's something that hasn't happened in in quite some time so i guess the point of this video here and the one thing if i could give anybody anything to take away from this video is find your strengths and find your weaknesses and find those who fill the gaps and that who are also very very excited uh, to do the things that you also love to do in addition to that uh moving is scary living in a new place is scary especially if you don't know people um, but a lot of the times i think it's worth it because it forces you to grow and it forces you to stretch your your skill set and that's that's just super exciting so i'd encourage it don't don't stay in one place for too long if you can help it especially especially if you have nothing tying you down obviously there are some people who really can't move around because they have families or other commitments that they've made but if you don't have that then what are you doing go out and then be be free and and exercise the freedoms that are provided um or that we are given, I guess, especially in, uh, and, uh, I know it's not perfect, obviously, if, but keep moving, keep doing things, find the things that motivate you. Maybe what motivates you isn't necessarily being around and collaborating with people. Uh, but if it is, do everything in your power to put yourself in a position where you are most likely to succeed. There are no guarantees in life, but you can definitely always do something to make sure that you're going to be better off than you once were. This has been Logan Daniel. Um, if you feel led, like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow me on Twitter. That is all. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday.